guys so I am back with another video this video is going to be an install video as well as laying your baby hairs video and it's featuring Van Love hair they reached out to me to try some of their hair I asked them if I could try some of their you know deep wavy or deep curly texture I really love curly hair they sent me some of their deep wavy or deep curly hair and I will put it on the screen of what it really is. They sent me three bundles of 18 inches and a one 16 inch frontal. I will say about the frontal, I love this frontal. Like, oh my goodness. I have never seen a frontal that has like such a long part. I think it's a 13 by six. Usually I think I get about a 13 by four. But this part is so freaking long. I really do love that. I went ahead and made the wig off camera because, you know, I already have a video about how to make your lace front. So um, if you want to see that and how to do, you know, that, um, I will link it in the cards. I also have a baby hairs video, but I am going to re, I am going to, you know, show you guys how I install and do the little baby hairs as well because I just, I love watching videos of people showing how they install and do their baby hairs as well i don't know it's just something therapeutic about it so so who we have here is miss kimmy i am calling her kimmy um she is so freaking pretty i did cut a little bit of the length off um if you guys can see the curl pattern it's very very beautiful um very flowy the luster on the hair is just so freaking natural i love it came in a very very cute box um i've never had any hair received from like aliexpress that came in like a box or anything like that so i thought that was really really cool it looks really professional it didn't look like it came from aliexpress or anything like that when it came to the shedding and all of that stuff i got a little bit of shedding but not much and since this is curly hair you are going to get a little bit more shedding versus you know your straight bundles I do not cut my wefts. I double up my wefts. The only time I cut my wefts is when I get to the very top and I split the weft at the, you know, the I split the very last weft. And um, one thing I really did like about the hair is that the wefts, they came like really thick, like, and not like super thick, like, oh, you can't put the needle through it, but it came like, it's very sturdy um, weft. And I haven't experienced that with any AliExpress companies that I've worked with. They were a little bit more thicker and they are a little bit more durable. One thing about the frontal, it does come with like gray hairs in here. Um, I did notice throughout the frontal that it has like gray hairs in it and I really honestly don't mind that because it looks a lot more natural and I, I just, I don't know, it doesn't really bother me. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into me installing the frontal and all of that jazz. She is a little bit big for my head, but um, we're gonna finesse this. I ain't got no hair. Might fit a little bit bigger now cause you know, I pretty much got a pea size head. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the construction of how the wig is. So this is pretty much how I constructed the wig. Um, it's pretty standard, pretty basic. See, she's, she's a tiny bit big, just like a smidget, but you know, it is what it is. I can work with it. I can work with her. I can finesse her how I need to finesse her. My blow dryer like broke while I was moving and it wasn't, it wasn't the mover's fault. It was, it was my fault cause you know, I've had the blow dryer for so long and I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing that I would normally do by patting some powder on top of the um, part. I'm gonna take Kimmy and what I like to do is I like to flip it like this and um, this is just easier for me to apply it and then I take the band and Hopefully you guys can see. I take the band and, you know, place it right there. And I'm going to slowly 
really start to pull it back, I'm gonna go ahead and clip side of the way so it's not in my way. And we're just gonna go ahead and line it up. Okay, so I know it look crazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some foam wrap, take my foam wrap and my hair toothbrush. I already did the bottom of my foundation. I know I look retarded, but oh well. I'm gonna take some foam spray and I'm just gonna lightly press it down onto little baby hairs and even though the wig is a little bit big for my head I am going to finesse this wig because that's what I do best finesse and stuff special hair So I'm taking a little bit more foam and moving on to the next section. And I'm just gently pulling down and swooping the bars. Swooping. You want to do, you got to have that flick of the wrist. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna wet it and I'm gonna have a part on this side. And I'm just gonna be careful with it because it ain't, you know, secure like it needs to be. So, I'm gonna part it over on this side since the baby hers on this side looks a lot better. Cause I ain't got time. Want to lean it over a little bit while spraying it so you don't get any of the water dripping from, you know, dripping down into the front tube and loosening the glue or the gel. It's not glue, but it's gel. I've never had a part over on this side and it feels weird. I don't like it. Nope, I don't like it over on this side. Nope. Don't like it. I don't like the feeling of wet weave on me. I don't, is that like. Is that like something, you know, is, is that weird? Like, I don't, this little baby hair right here is just not working, so I'm gonna have to fix it. But, um, is that something that like bothers you guys? Like, the feeling of wet weave on your skin <laughs> or wet extensions on your skin? Because that bothers me. It's like kind of cringing feeling. That part looks very natural though. Working my nerves. Come on, Kimmy, work with me, girl. You messing up my foundation, girl. Honest. Serving you '90s vibes. '90s. Shanti. Early 2000s Shanti, maybe. Am I reaching? I'm gonna put a little bit of mousse onto the hair and just help keep the frizz handled. This is as much shedding as I got. I don't know if you guys could see, but I'm gonna rock it like this. I think this is feasible for me. Part looks so natural though, like for real. 
I'm gonna put some last mascara. Lascara? I am just creating words today. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <gasps> did cut, cut a little bit off probably like an inch or so off so it's probably like 17 inches now in the back um i do have to customize my frontal and i do have a video on that and um i just cut the ends off a little bit and um i i keep those just in case i need them for something else but um yeah this is how the hair looks like when it's like brushed out and it's really natural and it's really pretty and i like it and it's this natural it looks like a level two because like if I put it up into the light, it looks like a level two. It looks like my natural hair color and I like that. I'm not going to change the color of it because I really like the natural color of it. The customer service was really, really good. They were really sweet and they were really, really patient with me because um, I just literally got my, you know, lighting system and all that stuff like that back Wednesday. They were really, really patient with me. They were really sweet. really did like the fact that the luster on the hair is very natural. It gives me those sexy bedroom type vibes and I really, really like that. You guys can see. It's really natural and lustrous and flowy. I look like the grudge. I love how it gets like the natural frizz. Yeah, I love how it gets that like natural frizz. You know, when I kind of like softly go through it and it has that natural looking frizz. I like that. Some people might not like that, but I like it. I'm gonna turn around the back so you guys can see. Remove your frontal. So, we're just gonna clip it back. You're gonna get your spray bottle of water and you're going to drench the frontal. You might wanna get a cloth to do this, but you wanna drench the frontal. Drench the whole perimeter of the frontal. And I say drench it because you don't want to pull up any of your edges with the frontal. Even though this one won't be that hard to come up because then you're going to slowly pull it back or and if it, you know, still isn't wet enough or just, you know, slowly pull it back because you don't want to. Ooh, you don't want to rip your baby hairs out or anything, or your real hairs. So, just slowly lift it up and slide it off. And you want to do the same thing with, you know, the little cap part two. There we go. Yeah, that's about it. 